Hey everyone, Kind Knowledge here. Today I would like to talk about the science of happiness and how you can live a happy life. Being happy, it's the most important thing in life, but still not everyone knows how to become happy. Luckily for us, positive psychology scientists have discovered a few things about being happy. In this video I am going to show you 7 habits of happy people. If you really want to experience a happy life, you cannot wait for happiness to magically appear to you. You have to get up and take action to make it happen. Being happy is a proactive decision. All you are going to need today is a positive mindset, a journal and your happy face. Ok, are you ready to rock and roll? Let's go! Habit number 1 Happy people practice acts of kindness. In your everyday life, look for small ways where you can show kindness to the people you meet. It's easy to do this with the people you know, but try to extend your kindness to people you don't know so well. The mailman, the store clerk, or just a random bypasser. These acts can be really simple things like a friendly smile or a kind word. Or you can pay a sandwich for the people behind you. Or leave a letter in the train for somebody you do not know. I did this often, I just wrote something, like a positive note, and then I just left it. So think about the ways you can be kind to others in day to day life. Write it down in your journal and start acting on these ideas every day. Number 2. Happy people nurture their relationships. There was a study done where they asked people on their deathbed what their regrets were. The biggest regret for most people was that they wished they had spent more time with the people whom they love. Relationships are so important in our lives, but relationships do require time and care. They also require communicating and resolving conflict and showing vulnerability to those people. If you spend a lot of time with your loved ones, you won't regret it. So make it a habit to contact your loved ones more frequently. If you would like to see someone more in your life, make it a priority to contact this person. Or contact someone from your past you would like to see again. Number 3. Happy people are grateful. There is so much to be grateful for, still it is really easy to forget these things when we are rushing through our daily lives. Luckily it is also really easy to practice thankfulness. Look at the circumstances that you enjoy in your life. Keep a gratitude journal where you write down the things that you are thankful for every day. You having a warm bed, someone telling you a fascinating story, the sun that is shining or your ability to see. Number 4. Happy people are optimistic. Do you see the glass half empty or half full? Or even better. Do you notice that there is a glass at all? It's a tough life when you're always negative. If you want to cultivate optimism, begin by becoming aware of how many negative thoughts and words you have every day. Replace these thoughts and words by positive and uplifting words. It might feel a bit forced at first, but the more you do it, the easier it becomes. Here are some examples to get you started. Try to think about the positive in these situations. It is raining. The bus just passed by without picking you up. You asked your girlfriend to marry you and she broke up with you. Etc. Habit number 5. Happy people practice forgiveness. Happy people know how to forgive others and themselves. Make up your mind to forgive the other person. Realize that someone did what they thought was right, otherwise they would have done something differently. Forgiving others will give you much more ease and pleasure in life. Forgiving yourself is probably even more critical than forgiving others. So acknowledge that the things you did were the things you thought were the best at the time. So when you made a mistake, it's not something you did on purpose, it just had to happen so that you can learn from it. You can even write a letter of forgiveness to yourself. Another good way to practice forgiveness is to close your eyes and wish the best for the person that you want to forgive. And of course, wish the best for yourself. Habit number 6. Happy people take care of their body. Your health has a great impact on your happiness. When you're out of shape, it's harder to live life to the fullest. There are many studies that show us that people who exercise feel better mentally and physically. If you're not already exercising, you can start small. Make a morning walk for 10 minutes in the park. Eat one more vegetable in your daily dish. When you start to do this, you'll eventually feel what this does to you. And you'll probably want to do it even more. And the last one, habit number 7. Happy people avoid comparison and overthinking. Do you sometimes look at someone and feel jealous? That person has something you would like to have. Comparing is a really toxic thing to do and it's not going to help you on your way to happiness. 
When you are comparing yourself with others you are measuring your self-worth to the standards of someone else. Instead measure yourself by your own personal standards. Your happiness has nothing to do with how good looking your neighbor is or how much money your friends are making. When you feel yourself having thoughts like this, go do something uplifting like exercise or working on your dreams. Well, that's it. The science of happiness and the habits of happy people. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of it and leave a thumbs up. And um, if you like this and want to see more of it, it would be amazing if you could go over to my Patreon and support me. This would free up more time for me to make these videos. Whatever you do or whatever you say, have a great, awesome, inspiring day.